YouTube. What is up? What is up? Yo, I hope y'all having a good week. Happy early Thanksgiving. And uh, in today's video, we're going to get into skill and perk points, okay? How to allocate them, where to assign them, what they do, and all that good stuff, all right? Before we jump into it, though, if y'all got, if y'all don't mind taking a quick second to like and comment and uh, subscribe to the channel, I'd appreciate it. And uh, without further ado, here we go, y'all. All right, so the first thing they're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go into your escape menu. And uh, I, I do that with my escape button, obviously, because I'm on PC. I think for, you know, obviously, maybe with console, uh, it might be start or whatever it may be, I don't know, okay? Uh, but you have two different categories here over on the left-hand side. Those are skill and perks, okay? Um, these are very essential to a lot of things. A lot of people always ask me on my TikTok streams, right? They're like, hey, Chris, how do you hold your breath so long? How do you keep the scope steady? How do you do this? Now, some of that is recoil control, uh, with the mouse, right? Uh, but another part of this is you have certain skill points and perk points that you can allocate over to these things to make things better, okay? Uh, so right now, we're gonna jump over into skills, okay? And there's two different categories over here. There's stalker, all right, and ambusher, all right? Stalker and ambusher. Um, all of these are gonna have a description of what they are underneath them. And uh, these are some of the things that I have, okay? So I have the locate tracks, I maxed that one out. Uh, the track knowledge, I maxed that one out as well. I did not do anything with connect the dots and uh, sound, right? The triangulation, I also have one assigned out of there. And then uh, the soft feet, all right? Basically what this does is it reduces the noise generated from moving through foliage such as grass and, and reduces the noise uh, to a different scale as well, okay? And then I also have improved blind or improvised blind, excuse me. Further decreases your visibility when inside large bushes and shrubs. So basically that will hide you in, in the brush. It'll make your visibility uh, a lot, you, you won't be seen as much by the animals, okay? Um, there's other ones on here, right? And uh, I've got endurance. Endurance is another good one to have, right? Uh, you want that so you can get across and, and control your heart rate more. This is one of the key ones that I think really has to do with aiming. What this does, right, it says all that walking has to be good for something, right? Increase your endurance so that your heart rate rises slower when moving and falls faster when idle. Um, so this is going to be a key one that you want to use for controlling your breathing and, and, and when you're ADS, right, when you're ADS. And then I have some here with weather prediction, which is not really relevant too much, you know what I'm saying? And then uh, Harden, right? That, that's a 15% increase in health, which sometimes comes in handy, sometimes not, all right? Now, for the longest time, I didn't realize there was two categories here, so make sure you're checking both of these. Um, so right here, I have two out of four on the scent. I have three out of three on the site knowledge, right? This is something that you guys always ask too, or, or is commonly asked in the TikTok streams, is how do you highlight an animal right, with the, uh, with the spotting scope, right? And that's gonna be under sight spotting. So basically sight spotting, it, it allows your capabilities to be ADS on an animal uh, and highlight it, right? And it really helps when, for shot placement and stuff like that, okay? Uh, the spotting knowledge, once again, this kind of increases the amount of information that can be gained from the last animal spotted. Uh, what that means is that when you spot an animal uh, up at the top up there, you'll have a box. That's gonna give a lot more information. So I highly recommend doing spotting knowledge and I also highly recommend doing sight spotting, okay? Now, once again, if these are locked, you have to do certain things to, to unlock them, right? So you have to progress uh, across these uh, to increase the skill points. Uh, you are limited by how many skill points and perk points you can you can use, I, I guess you could say. Uh, so keep that in mind and make sure you allocate them correctly where they need to go, all right? Um, once again, check all those out, all right? But I do highly recommend, number one, the spotting knowledge to give you the most, uh, the most amount of information on an animal that you can have possibly. And then also the sight spotting so that you can highlight these animals when you're looking down the scope, okay? Uh, the way you obtain these skill and perk points is by leveling up. So make sure you're concentrating on that as well. Now the perk points, uh, there's a lot of different categories here, okay? Um, my recommendation is to pick which categories that you're gonna be using the most. So for example, I, I stopped really using the bows a lot and then I transitioned back to the rifles and the shotguns. Um, so I, I reallocated those points, okay, over to rifles. All right, uh, muscle memory unlocks the ability to reduce your next shot without leaving ammo for rifles, shotguns, and handguns, and increases ready speed after firing for all weapons. Something very valuable to have, okay? Um, the breathing control, this is another vital one, all right? So the way that you see me hold my breath for a long time and, and get good recoil control is by utilizing the skills and the perks, all right? This is one of, one of the ones you have to have, the breathing control. Max that one out for sure, all right, 100%. Focus shot, I don't really mess with that because once again, if you read these descriptions, some of them are just pointless, right? Um, zeroing, I do have this unlocked with the points. I don't use the zeroing in the game. I use Kentucky windage. So um, I've kind of trained myself with, with the, the way the shooting is on this game to aim higher, aim lower, depending upon the circumstances. 
And uh, I don't really particularly use the actual functionality of it, uh, but I do have it. I, I do have uh, the points allotted to it, okay? Uh, steady hands, decrease wobble when in A mode using any weapon. Each level unlocked increases the effect. So you want that. You want to minimize the wobble. You want to have longer breaths, and you want to have reduced reduce recoil. All right, those are just necessary things inside the game. Um, you can kind of go through. You can kind of go through, like, the handguns, the shotguns, right? It's the same concept, right? The same con uh, concept. Just make sure you're checking all these. Go through all of them. Read through all of them, all right? And, and pick the ones that apply to you. Uh, once again, you can look at mine, but that doesn't necessarily make it right for what you're doing, okay? You're going to want to go through and pick out your hunting style and what matches that and increase that, uh, increase the quality of that by utilizing these in the appropriate locations. So if you're a big handgun user, then you're probably going to want to allocate some, or allocate some of these points over to handguns, right? Same thing with archery, okay? Make sure you're using these. They, these are essential in the game, all right? Uh, once again, I'm going to pull this back up real quick. I'm going to let y'all, I'm going to leave it up here for a short second. So that you guys can screenshot it. If you guys want to see how mine are, um, feel free to screenshot this. Uh, that's for the stalker. All right. This is for the stalker. Now for the ambusher, you can go ahead and screenshot this one too. This is how I assign all mine. Uh, once again, it may vary depending upon your style, but uh, this is a good a good standard that, that, I've, that I've used and it works pretty well for me. And then we'll go to perks. Uh, these are all my rifle perks. I'll let y'all screenshot that. Handguns. I don't have anything assigned, right? Uh, shotguns. You can screenshot that as well. And then uh, I do have a few on archery, right? I do have a few on archery. But I haven't really touched the bows too much since the animation has been glitched out, right? Uh, you have the capabilities of resetting both of these, chat. Resetting both of these, all right? So if you guys want to go to Stalker and then you want to reallocate all these, it does cost 45.5 uh, in in-game cash. But uh, you can just hit Reset Skills, right? Here, I'll, I'll do it just to show you all. You can hit Reset Skills, and that takes away everything. And then you just start all, all the way back over, okay? All the way back over. It looks like you have to reset each category, okay? So make sure that y'all are doing that as well, okay? Bam. And now I have a total of, of 22 skill points that I could use, okay? If you look up the top here, right? I have zero perk points available, but if I wanted to reassign them, I would just click on perks, hit reset perks, and then you'd have to go to each individual category and hit reset, okay? Uh, bam. All right. So I hope that really helps out, and uh, I hope you you guys were able to get some screenshots. I'm gonna go back and use those screenshots as well, so I can reallocate uh, the skill the skill points. Uh, make sure that you're using these; they are intricate and vital. All right, intricate and vital. Uh, use them. All right. Uh, if you guys like this video, if y'all could smash that like button. If you could drop a comment below, let me know if you thought it was helpful or if you thought it was trash. And then uh, if you'd like to see something different, let me know. And uh, subscribe to the channel; it really helps out more than you guys know. I appreciate y'all. I challenge y'all if you're out in public anywhere this week. Make sure you pick a random person, smile them, and say something nice. You never know what kind of day somebody's having and just how far that one single act of kindness can go. That is where Chain the World starts, all right, y'all? Uh, also, take a, take a few minutes. If you guys are looking for some outdoor and survival gear, head up over to Reaper, reaper.com. Uh, if you buy anything, use promo code CNG15 at checkout. That'll get you 15% off your order. Um, and uh, have a beautiful, badass week, y'all. Happy Thanksgiving, okay? I love you guys, man.